violence. It's gambling. Too much friends can get you in trouble. Just every day, just looking at people and seeing somebody and not going down the drain. Anybody want to do bad things about people? Smart her. To me, like this, but this gang is my family. Job's hard to get. Some people just have to go hard life and stuff, you know what I mean? at Searles, Barbados. We chose this spot because mostly young people came out here and the boy action is really, really young Searles nowadays like to see and do. So we just come to watch and see what it's like. We actually thought of some of the young people down here. If this can be an alternative for the youth, as in it could, not, it, it could be another culture or another way out, Whatever situation I mean. If you check it, it ain't nothing for the children and the youths only coming up learning war real and violence, you know what I mean? Guys and thing and robbing people and thing. But every system now can give you a little work, we can come off with any things. But ain't nothing so happening, so what happening now? The children looking for a way to make it, called the parents ain't gaining the money. They may get enough money to care school, they're hungry, some children are going to school, you know, no school clothes, nothing, so that's what's going on. A lot of the youths nowadays, they count for the qualifications to get that, that sort of work, and think enough of them it won't really work out, so at the end of the day, everybody want to be a bad man. Everybody want to do bad things about people. Smoke her, baby, kiss, baby. The boy really want to really push and look for the word. Also, I mean, when you still going to push, you still ain't getting the work. So, yeah. And the people that really some, got some people out there know that going to want work, but still ain't got the qualifications and things. So, we're going to end up robbing and doing the thing. And Crane going to end up raising. In the drug trade, most of these youngsters are a lot of them are unskilled. In some cases, they can't get work. They come from households. There are probably sometimes six, seven, and eight people living in the households. They see their family suffering. Drug this drug trade offer them an opportunity to accumulate thousands of dollars, sometimes in one week. When you offer these fellows a job at two fifty a week. Answer them to come to work at 8 in the morning on a rigid control in the workplace. You find that these youngsters, the option for them is the fast track. Everybody gonna make a dollar. And you nowadays it ain't easy. Jobs don't come as easy because there's a year and they're looking for work and they cannot find work. It don't come as easy as it looks. Doing. They said they want to help everyone and help the youths, but to me, they ain't doing nothing at all. Because there's not enough people just saying not on the block. Well, my experience ain't really got no work, no nothing, so 
when they ain't got no work and they ain't getting the children they ain't or their children and lead astray. You understand? They can ignore the children and the children can look for saying that so that's how you just get from the block. But you ain't get love from the block, but you ain't getting love from so that's how you just end up getting into their things. I have two kids, two boys. One is five years and the other one is a year. And I would just like to be there for them and bring them up the right way. Just like how I got brought up. And let me see what life is really about. Open up the eyes, look around, and do the right things. Last week, a man out from out by me. He get robbed, he had a chain, nice big gold chain. And a man who want it, he just walking on the beach. And a man come at him and he say, boy young man, give me that chain. The man say, nah man, the man draw a gun, pop off his chain and shoot him, get two shots in his leg. Then call for it, if you want a chain, buy, buy a chain. You go yeah, for the chain then, so. Yeah. 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 Vanity and dressing up and gold chains and looking good and gang girls. But people and people know that parents can't afford to get them, but they'll do anything to be in that position. Walk one, snatch chains, run, snatch chains, do all them things. Some people just want to do it for a reputation. Correct. Yeah. You get a good, well, you can't say get a good name for them. Because that's not, but it's getting a good name for them, but not for other people. The bloods and the crits and those guys the other day and street soldiers and my friend Zuko, he was in a lot of foolishness in gangs and different things and he get her right. rate he helped and people because he used to do it so now he older he best to actually come alter it so and he tell me a lot about to don't do things he actually showed me a lot of things that I didn't expect things that things that could happen Okay, now, buddy. Just say, man. Your name is Zico. And your age is Penny. But, um, so you involved in any violence, I think? Um, it was, it was my past. Um, basically, I come in a hood, um, city, resident city, uh, Barbados. Um, you know, I was just stressed most people know it. And I had got involved in gangs and, you know what I mean, gangs and drug dealing and different things that I did as a young person, but so it didn't necessarily start out as a gang, but it has started out as a friendship thing and you look up for me, look up for you kind of thing. Until I actually got serious. And until they actually the friend thing actually had a name. So it was like, you know, different names like oh the Tugs, the Black Shirt Pro, but I actually had gone involved with something called the Crips. And it is more like it's an organized gang and it's got the two ranks and different things to build up. I had to venture that same process. So I started off first with tagging, tagging at buildings, like spray painting the building, graffiti and things, um, small time robberies, you know what I mean? Breaking into people's houses, little wars, gang wars, whatever the case may be. I had to build it that day for a while. And until it was this day, I was actually in town. And this fella had approached me and he asked me if I was equal. And I was like, yeah. So it was like, you supposed to be free. And I was like, yeah, walk me once. Walk, walk me once some these questions because I had felt offended. But they asked me these questions. It was like, he trying to test my authority, you understand me? Because at that time, I had worked my way up to the top. And he was actually asking me, so he's supposed to be ever so bad. So at the time, I had some recruits for me. And it was like, I got to prove myself worthy, you understand me? I got to prove myself worthy. So um, seeing it had happened, I asked him, so you want to find out? He asked me about in an uh, aggressive man, which was seen like a violation to me. So we started to little, had a little scaffold and thing. I had pulled out scissors. They had brought me his face on the scissors. And he had stabbed me five times. And basically, like, I showed him spine and above my neck. I won't have any hand. That's basically it. And he thought I'd say I could barely made it. I would be paralyzed if I had been an inch closer. And for me, most people say that's the way I could call for me to change my life, but it was not. So when my mentality when I left the hospital was to 
hurt somebody serious. Right. So uh -huh. basically from there, I left the Crips and created my own gang. Which most of me, like it was named Street Soldier. It had different rules involved. It was a, it was the same organized gang, but it had different rules involved. And it was actually recruiting Bloods, Crips, anybody, any independent gang could um, join this, this, this clip. Until I had put myself involved with a Beijing film called Hush. And it was basically reacting the same gang violence, the same gang violence and stuff. And it was like, this basically my life, you know what I mean? This is how we live in this. And it has shown me a lot. It was like, it's not worth it for you. This, this, this cowboy life, you shooting people and getting worried and shooting at people and you getting shoot at and people holding you and you know what I mean? It wasn't worth it. And so I told myself, I said, hey, look at this. And that's when I found Christ at the time because it was basically a Christian film. The Christian group was actually doing it. And I was like, yeah, boy, I really hope this thing, I think. And then from there, I believe that the enemies had stopped. It was just like old threats and things. They didn't really see you until eventually I faded. And from there, we just like pursuing to do something positive. person got stabbed a couple times drop down people didn't know then they were focusing on other fights and he stood there in the corner life going people didn't watching he only time only time they realized was when he was like actually dead so dead ain't dead we just come out to war to tell everybody in this society that we are young children only about violence, we both having fun and we are really sorry that he came out to event and lose his life. So we just do this walk to let the society know that we are both positive things, trying to boys into the same Well, in general, uh, it's skywalking in boy with us. Like. Getting high. Getting like really high. high. And we just trying to, you know what I mean? Let people know. Innocent. 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 So, yeah. So it's best we just enjoy ourselves. The more that we can do for life is just a living right. Cause ain't nothing else that is better than enjoying yourself. Cause you only have one life to live. You gotta remember that. And do your best on earth, well, you got it. Violence will just cut your life short. You know what I mean for it? So we're just here today just to show everybody that, well, yeah. Still got a positive side in Barbados, and we willing to show it. Can we ever really live in a peaceful society? Can we have peaceful families? Can we learn to coexist with each other? If we need to know some of the things that causes peace not to be peaceful. And once we know what those things are, once we know what our limits are, then we can be on the road to making the island less stressful. The reality is that we we'll always have conflict within our families, within the schools, within our homes, within our communities. It is how we learn to deal with those conflicts when they present themselves. On this base, the LGBS got real talent. Real talent we got down here. Every department, electricians, plumbers, sportsmen, singers, footballers. I mean, everything we got down here then is, is sitting down and it's jumping me something for real. Yeah, and they done what all over other blocks and things, what enough talent and thing. And some of them ain't got the, the, the courage to go forward and step forward and look for what they want to sell with them. Just want to push, right? Yeah. Hey!
So my nails, I always wanted to do nails. I always want to have a skill to be well-rounded. And I love doing nails right here, so I decided to do the class. I worry about my community sometimes because they normally just focus on the negative activity that happens up here. You never really hear about the good things that the Ivy Community Center have to offer. Our teenage girls sometimes need assistance because even if they leave school, some of them might be dropped out like early pregnancy or you know not being academic. You know, they tend to fall back on doing a trade. So me doing this program has really opened my eyes in seeing, you know, what is out there in terms of the community. That you have to keep on getting that that um, that positive speech, that encouragement. Because if you don't keep on getting it, if you if you don't get it, then you know you don't find yourself useful. You don't find you know, you, you being useful to individuals or your community or, or your um, country. I find if you get that positive encouragement, that speech, that pep talk, I find that it pushes you to do things for more, to better yourself. It pushes you to be a better individual. I worry a lot. a lot. I think that the government should got somebody to go on the blocks and talk to the young fellas that now coming up. Because just the other day, I see a young fellow about 11 years old and he's smoking. And I was like, what do you do smoking here for? My mother know. But we need somebody to come out and talk to the young people about life and how things going in life so that we will get a positive idea of what we should be doing instead of we should be fighting to figure out what we should do by ourselves. We need some, some other help right. and, and some real people. approval. And I find a lot of people like this get lost. We try to find our identity and we go out and find, and find the bad yeah. company and to find our identity when we should really sense. just dig deep within and tell find ourselves, our you know what? I want to set some goals for my, I want to set some goals for myself and I will get ahead in it. Well, you talk about dancing, but that is a good way to get me. Youngsters are for these streets, I think. Well, that's a good question. Basically, it is because most dancers are actually all for the streets. You understand? Know most street dancers really all for the streets. And for instance, most dancers actually put more of the time into learning to dance or dancing rather than being from the block talking or idling because idle hands is find things to do. So if you can come off the streets and learn to dance or do something positive and come to dance, you can just find yourself in a more positive direction because dancing leads me to so much things. Dancing leads me to traveling, dancing leads me to acting. I mean, like movies and whatever the case of being actually pursuing my dreams. So, yeah, trust me, if dancing is your thing, do it. It's worth it. So, I think it's help. So, the youth now, like, we learn to ride bikes. I'm gonna start being more cash out here. I'm gonna start, if we could get to, like, super cross or super motor or more than anything, so that way we be in and riding and. You know what I mean? Enjoying us, let people see what we're doing. Like for instance, my man, you just got my man with car here. You understand? Know He's a good man. You know what I mean? Other people can find an opportunity for you know to get the super motor saying. You know what I mean? Going global. That's how we operating. We're looking for a way to go global. Without being violent or without being, we would say distracted. But more constructive. You understand? Know You into the music. Now this is Queen Sun and all those young players. The I don't see them much further. So you think that music as well will keep them away from the further activity? But to be truthful, when the LRG start to sing, everybody playing, they know LRG as a youth. What people are called bad and you know what I mean doing things well. Everybody was so bad. But after they start doing my music, I had to find you know what I mean. I had to find a piece of mind for myself and for people too. You know what I mean and to be some boy to follow so I had to look into myself now as a person, you know what I mean? I look to build my inner self and when they function that people can respect me the same way so I have to look to respect myself first. 
What am I say? I see that. LRG there. I truly in my heart and my soul waiting for Panayli Aisalasi. From him coming for my salvation. Leave my only work in all my salvation. He's my defense. Really move. Aisalasi and Rosedam. Boom! Um, from doing this documentary, I have learned a lot. First of all, um, I have learned that the youth have many reasons why they react. And why they choose violence, but there's hope because you have positive view and we're going to show you. The documentary came out to be a good project because I learned a lot and I know I taught some people out there to speak out things that they have in their mind and they've been holding and they want to say. I think most of us learn a lot. This is my story. This is my voice. This is our voice. This is my voice. This is our voice. This is my voice. This is my voice.